Hello, welcome back again. You might be surprised that I'm just showing my face today. You can see the person behind this little channel here. I've been doing a uh, faceless uh, YouTube here, but now I decided to do some videos with my face on it. So yeah, here I'm talking live to you and uh, well, let's get started. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create this a very simple, clean uh, text animation here. So uh, in order to do that, we have three parts to this. The first one is to create the uh, solid color clip and then we need to create the text clip and then we animate the text clip. So let's get started with the first one. Okay, so in order to do that, let's create this solid color clip. So click on the project bin and then add your color clip. And then we can click here, drag this to the timeline and place it on video track one. Okay, so since it's on video track one, let's apply the crop by padding. To do that, go to the effects panel. As you saw, it's under transform, distort and perspective. Uh, so use the crop by padding. Come here to the display uh, monitor or the project monitor here and simply click then crop in out like that. I place the text, uh, the clip somewhere here. Sorry, not the text, the clip. And then you can trim in a little bit more like that then place it in where you want to later on we can really arrange this around whatever place that you want to place it on and give attention to the height which is 13 so let's put this one to uh, 14 for now and then uh, we need to duplicate this by right click and then copy that and paste it here and then place this one in and bring this little uh, clip somewhere up there and then click on the handles here and then uh, drag it in like that to create this other clip here and then bring this to plus it with the end of this uh, other clip here and to know if it is the start you can just click here and uh, come here and zoom in see the clip so we can align that nicely so let's just place it something like that then let me check that again okay it looks nice there the thickness of this would be 14 so let's change this to 14 and then uh, let's uh, duplicate the bottom clip, right click, copy, and then paste it here. And um, we want to bring this up here and place it something like that and make sure to align it nicely like this. Okay, and then uh, we just want to crop it a little bit in. So bring it in something like that. And then uh, change the height to 14, which is the other two halves. The thickness of that to be 14, which is that. So now, we have this. The next thing is to create a sequence for this one here. So I do a right click and I do a rubber select, right click and then create a sequence. Once you create a sequence, you're going to place it back again on the video track here. So if you look up here, you can see sequence one. And then this is uh, something I created earlier. And this is the sequence three uh, where we created this now. And then this is the sequence one. Okay, so there we go. From this, now we need to create the text clip. So to create a text clip, again, project bin, right click. And then let's type in our text here. And I want to increase the text to 150. Oh, well, that's too big. So let's uh, put it down to 100. And then I want to change this to something thicker, like the aerial black there. And now uh, we'll just place this right in here, just like that. And then I want to add the shadow here because when we place it under another video clip, then we're going to have that shadow. So I put the value of that to 10 and then create the title. Let's create another text clip again. So come here at the title and then type in our text. And I want to change this to a smaller font size. So let's go down to 40 and then change the font style to Arial Nero there. And I just change this to 50. Okay, good. And then place this somewhere here and then uh, add the shadow to and then increase this to 10 and that's all we need to do and let's create that so now let's bring this to place the first one on track 2 and then place the second one on track 3 okay so that's what we have now time for the animation so select the sequence which is the uh, solid color clips here the lines there and then Put your mouse to the corner here. You can see this little nice uh, green circle. That's the fading. So click and drag it like that. So we have this nice fading of the lines there. What we want to do is to animate the top text clip. 
So to do that, select the first one there, make sure it's just close to the fade in when it ends. So select that and then let's apply the transform. So I have saved it into my favorite, so it's all appearing here. So just click this and drop it in and then select this one and then uh, change the value of x here to 2000 to hide the text i add a keyframe and change the value back to zero and this is what's going to have now okay you put a second text here let's select that and uh, it, since it was 25 let's increase this to let's say um 30 to move the frame in pipe frame there and then change the value of x to 2000 to hide the text and then add a keyframe change this to uh, linear keyframe interpolation and then change the keyframe all the way to 50 but that's too much let's put it down to 40 and then uh, add another keyframe and change the value of uh, x to 0 and change the keyframe interpolation to linear. Okay, so this is what we have now. Okay, so that's how we can create this uh, simple uh, clean uh, lower title. And uh, that's all we have for today. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that. It's gonna be big help for us. And thank you again for watching.